There is one Torontonian who may be, I guess you could say, torn by <laughs> divided loyalties. Say it ain't so. James Lackey is the former coach of Steph Curry, the Warriors star player. This is at Queensway Christian College mm -hmm. in the early 2000s. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining us. Of course. Now, why do you have to start the interview with that look, information? Look, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nice at least that you're wearing, you know, the Raptors gear, but, yes. you know, I don't want to. Well, wanna... this is actually sort of a special shirt. Uh, this represents how I'm feeling this week. Oh, this, how, how difficult is it? Well, this shirt was given to me actually by Del Curry back when his son was playing in Toronto. Amazing. And he was attending the little school that I was coaching at. So on the front, it says Toronto Raptors, I, I Except. but on the back, it says number 30, <laughs> which is, of course, uh, Stephen Curry's number. So I'm, I've so got both represented. Both. That's right. So you can That's cheer right. for the Raptors, but cheer for one player in particular. Sure. On the okay. Other <laughs> Fair so enough. Take us back there. Uh, this is, what, 2001, I guess yeah, it would have been. That's right. Steph Curry was 13? Yeah, 12, 13 years old. That's so right. what was that like when you saw him on the basketball court, even at that age? Well, he was such a small guy. He was maybe five foot one, five foot two at the tallest and you have a dad who's six four yeah. six five you'd think he's going to be a big kid but uh when he stepped on the floor any worries that i had just went away immediately i mean he just completely changed the game as soon as he stepped on the court he was shooting from everywhere making every shot i'd never seen anything like it really and yeah. there's one story in particular mm -hmm. you guys were down about a half a dozen points a minute to go yeah. give or take take us back there what happened? Yeah, it, we had never lost all year, and we're playing against this big Toronto school that we really had no right to even be playing against, but we were actually in the game because of Stefan. But with about a minute left, we were down by six or seven points, and I thought, uh, I, I don't know if we're going to do this or not. So I called a timeout just as a coachable moment to say to the guys, you know what, win or lose, keep your heads up, shake hands, and keep trying right to the end. You know, the typical coach speech, and Stefan is usually pretty quiet, but he stopped me right in the middle of of that speech and he said we are not going to lose this game and he said just give me the ball and we'll win and i said okay guys no more plays no nothing just if you get the, give ball, the ball give give it to stefan <laughs> and he scored i think about 12 points in a minute i'd never seen anything like it, and we won the game what is it about his attitude that you yeah. saw you must have seen at that point mm -hmm. and, and it continues on even now as that really you know living up to the name the warrior yeah he really is. I mean, a, a lot of people say, well, it's just natural talent, but I have seen him in the gym hour after hour just working and working and working. He does not quit. And when you, when you see him on the basketball court, the same thing. I, we saw it the last series. The Warriors were down just about every game, 15, 20 points. They kept coming back, kept coming back. They just don't stop. It's a great lesson for the kids now, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Uh, what, really what kind is. of message do you, you, uh, you give your students? Well, watching him play, one of the things that I always point out is how excited he is when someone else on the team succeeds or does something well he's not in it for himself he he almost gets more jazzed when someone else does something well than when he makes a great play himself so i point that out to the kids that it's really a team sport and you should be just as excited as someone else scores and if you do could you have envisioned this kind of career even at that age well he was so small i wasn't sure if he would make it you know into with the nba where players are as you know six four six five that's those are the little guys but uh he grew and his shot improved and when you shoot like that he's really uh made a case for it doesn't matter how tall you are how big you are if you are willing to work at it you can succeed if you have that warrior attitude that's but right. you know we don't have a lot of time but real quick i mean what is it going to be like watching these oh guys? this is the dream matchup for me i mean to see stefan here in our hometown where we've been cheering for the raptors for all these years it's great for the city yeah. the buzz is unlike anything that uh, i can remember so it's just going to be a fantastic couple James of Laggy, days thank you so much for joining yeah, us thank you for having right. me yeah.